was born, our living room was covered. I mean, littered with toys. There were toys coming out of every, every oh. place. And she went through that phase where all the toys she liked were really tiny. Oh, oh, remember all of those? Oh my God, they, they were like, like this big. Little tiny things, and were, everything was a unicorn, and everything, and you just were stepping on it. And it was everywhere. Everywhere. And let me tell you something about me. I am not sentimental. This you know about me. No, she's not. I'm not a sentimental person, but my husband is. So my husband wants to keep every single toy, every single drawing, ev everything. And I was like, it's got to go. Yeah, but you guys, this is the thing. I think when you're a kid, you suddenly, what I noticed with Abby, she did the same thing. The minute you were going to get rid of something, it became the most valuable thing she had. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the, I remember we got a new car. We yeah. got rid of the other car. Yeah. She was like, but I love that car. I was like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't love the car. You never said I love the car before. Yeah. Well, in 2012, mommy blogger Ruth Sukup snapped and got rid of all her two daughters' toys. Yeah, when she right? says snap, she means like, uh, they snapped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, lost it. Yes. She said they'd become too fixated on having stuff and they wouldn't clean up when she asked repeatedly. I wish that we had video of that last time. Like, oh, oh, you're, you're not gonna clean up? You're not gonna clean up? You know what's gonna happen? 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 So after clearing the house, she said she noticed that they were less focused on buying new things and that they actually found ways to entertain themselves without new toys. Well, because you didn't have anything. Oh, you go find it. I think maybe they were afraid to ask mommy. <laughs> <laughs> mommy didn't seem like it was a good ask time. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Well, we asked our friends on Facebook, would you ever get rid of your kids' toys to teach them a lesson? 50% of you said yes, and 50% of you said no. I found that really interesting. Well, here's the thing. I can tell you that I have very bad allergies, and I've had them since I was born, since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And so when they really started to figure out how bad they were and what to do about mm -hmm. it, they, uh, the allergists made them throw away all of my stuffed animals. Mm. And I had, because I came allergic to down, I'm allergic to, so, um, and it was, I tell you, that day was like my, my personal Vietnam. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was traumatic about it, and yeah. I, to this day, do comment about it. Did you see me? You see me do it it's, it's, You know what, it is that Snoopy? Every year, you're like, but you've been when you threw away my Snoopy when I was a child. I loved that Snoopy. I was six years old. I'll never forget it. Yes. His eyes dead and cold as they went out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Ruth's post has been shared over 230,000 times since she posted it, and she's received both praise and vitriol from the post. So yes. some people don't like it, some people love it. And here's one of the comments. It says, love this. My husband and I are thinking of trying it. We have these same issues with our son, who is a great kid but completely obsessed with toys and electronics. I do. And then um, I will be do doing something like this soon with the entire house. I am tired of all this stuff. Warning. Yes. Whoever's in this house, go, go go get your stuff you want right now. Yes, and here's keep another, it on your body. Totally. And here's a, another comment from Ruth's post: "Is I love this woman. Rescue her kids. It's either you're in one camp about it or another. But here's the thing: it's like." Us getting rid of our kids' toys, it wasn't a punishment. That's what I was going to say. Like, that to me this, is the difference. Right. This was a punishment. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's one thing to declutter or to try to deal mm -hmm. with the kids, you know, being focused on things that they're just, they don't even use anymore. Yes. And it's another thing to be like, I'm going to teach you. Yes. Well, we were curious to know what people had to say about it. So we sent our cameras out and asked, is it selfish for a mother or a parent to get rid of her kids, of their kids' toys and keep their house clean? And here's what they said. Take a look. It's selfish to get rid of your kids' toys to keep the house clean. It's only selfish if you didn't already give them a chance to clean it up. I think it's selfish <laughs> to get rid of the toys to keep your kids, to keep the house clean. Your kids ought to have a space so they can keep them. 100% selfish to get your get rid of the toys, unless you're donating to a, a, you know, a cause, and then it's not selfish. Depends on the toys, because I'm kind of a geek, so if they're like cool toys, like Batman or superheroes or Star Wars, I'd keep them, but if it was like, Barney or stuff like that, they're gone. I don't know if I approve of the editing. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. This isn't cool, Junior, but this is. I've never met a man who has never, who didn't say, my mom threw out my comic books and they would be worth something today. I've never, I, every male I've ever met has said that. I, I'm really confused about your dating pool. <laughs> I'm very confused by this. Well, joining us via Skype is Danielle Faust, a mommy blogger who says she got rid of almost all of her kids' toys. Welcome to Me Time, Danielle. Mm. Hi, thank you guys for having me. Thank you. What made you decide to get rid of your kids' toys? Um, well, it was just, well, it was annoying, first of all. So many toys, they were everywhere. It's like they were just multiplying every night. And 
it felt wasteful because my kids played with maybe 10% of them. Mm -hmm. I just, it was just gnawing at me. And the clutter just, I I don't know. (laughs) Well, here's my question. How did you go about it? Did you do it in front of their eyes and like this? Did you were like, and I'm taking this? You know, my mother would just, she'd wait till, she'd wait till I was visiting my grandparents out of the house. And then she, what did you do? Your mother's smart. That's what I did. My kids were visiting my aunt. So I just, scooped everything up while they were gone, and I saved I saved very um, intentionally. I saved things that they love, that they played with, and they can use their imaginations with, and everything else that beeped and blinked and Ooh, fought girl, for yes. them, I threw that out. Uh, all those things, like every time you, you touch them, yeah. and it goes, bee dee doo dee doo dee doo uh, and it doesn't oh, stop. Yes. Boo, doo, dee, doo, 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 doo. But, okay, if I get a toy to do that, I'm keeping it. Because that <laughs> is entertaining. Okay, when your kids came home, how did they react? You know, I thought I was going to have World War Three on my hands, but my son was just like, hey, you took everything out of here. I was like, yep. He's like, you're a secret agent. I was like, yep. <laughs> and then he went and played Ooh. with his cars. We're looking yeah, at it were, now. They were really good. It looks so organized and lovely and spacious. And I also believe that people need space. Kids need space. It's yeah. like when, when, when toys are just overflowing, they, I don't know if they can make a choice to play with what to play with. Yeah, you know, so in my wellness coaching, I always say, as within, so without. And that includes your environment. So if you have a cluttered space and everything is piled up on you, you can't think straight. You can't be intentional about what you're doing or mindful. So it's good to have the clear spaces. So do you think that the kids, did they have any uh, remorse or anger? Did they instantly sort of, did they just roll with it? They didn't have any remorse or anger because I kept the things that I know that they loved and played with the most of all. And I noticed that they started playing in their rooms longer now that they had the few space to focus on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they actually knew what they had. Do you have any advice for parents who want to do this? Like if a parent is watching this and going, I want to do this, how do I do this? What would you advise? I do. I would advise, well, first of all, don't feel guilty. Just do it, (laughs) step one. Um, But if they're younger children, observe them first. See what they actually play with. Everything that they're not playing with, donate or toss it if it's broken. And older kids, Include them in the process. Let them know your reasoning behind it and let it be a mindful and intentional process that you do together. Yeah, because I went through my daughter's toys when she got older and let her pick and choose. And she got rid of so Ooh. many things. She, she was, was a vicious cut. She, it was a vicious cut. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear awesome. would have cried. Yes. Cried, 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 cried. <laughs> Thank you so much, you. Danielle. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Me Time with Frangela. 